up in London. I just come down from from London today, and there was a guy at the, um, the railway station at the end, and just outside. And he was he was on the pavement. It was a cold day. He's on the pavement, and he's got his hand out. He's begging for coins. And next to him is a cardboard box. And you know, at the end of the evening, he's going to crawl into that box and go to sleep. And I, I saw that, and I just thought to myself, I would kill for a commute like that. <laughs> so. Uh, doesn't know he's born, does he? No, I ain't no. No, I had to go. I was up in. I was actually. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bragging. I was up in the. You know the big war. There's a big water stones at uh, Piccadilly Circus. I was in the big water stones doing one of my doing one of my book signings, and uh, I managed the whole first floor before they caught me. So. I have had an amazing New Year so far. Three days ago, I helped deliver a baby in the back of a cab. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? It, is, which was, it, was, it was amazing because it meant that we could split the fare three ways. <laughs> so <laughs> I went to a fetish evening a few months ago, desperately trying to reanimate that side of thing. I don't know that's the kind of thing that happens in Bracknell. Don't even think about it. It's only my experience. I walked through the, I walked through the door. I walked through the door and I was more or less attacked by a man in a one-piece rubber bodysuit. Luckily, I was wearing a nylon jumper, so I just rubbed up against him, stuck into the ceiling. <laughs> so, show the king guy. I'm not going to get all graphic like that. I think I sum it up really for all people over 40 when I say, when you're over 40, sex is all well and good, but nothing beats the thrill you get when you smuggle a real weapon into Laser Quest. <laughs> so... <laughs> no, my nan was actually born on, uh, on the same day as the Queen, and a very interesting woman, my nan. Amazing job, my nan. She used to prepare bodies for funerals. She was an assassin. <laughs> so... I mean, it's a long time ago. When I was, when I was five, a long time ago, I used to get just 20p, right, 20p a week. I wasn't happy about it. But luckily, it was just enough to put in the tumble dryer down the laundrette. Then I climbed in, and 15 minutes later, I had enough bruises to be taken into care. <laughs> so, I've got a real condensation problem with my house. I don't know what it is. I'd love for somebody to come around and, and to help sort it out. I'll pop over any time. The kettle's always on. <laughs> but, uh, the... <laughs> All you've got to do, really easy game to play, you take your finger, stick it up your arse, okay? It's not the end of the game. It is a game, but it's not the game we're talking about now. <laughs> take your finger, stick it up your arse, take it out, hold it like that, and you can do falconry, but with flies. <laughs> so...